Hi, I'm Heidi Gibson and I was awarded the John Oxley Fellowship last year to support my oral history research in the Torres Strait. The fellowship has made it possible for me to start recording the experiences of people living on the border between Australia and Papua New Guinea. Although many Australians seem to think of New Zealand as our country's nearest neighbour, in reality it's Papua New Guinea. PNG is only three kilometres away from Queensland on the Torres Strait island of Saibai. In this region, Australians and Papuans live in sight of each other across a narrow strip of water. For generations, they have shared fishing, hunting and trading, they built families and clans together and shared common spiritual beliefs. And for almost 30 years, until 1975, they all held the status of being Australian citizens. But things began to change in 1975 when PNG gained independence from Australia. A new international border was laid down through the narrow channel of water between them. On the Australian side, the community has continued to develop. The school has grown. People who are retired, sick, disabled or unemployed receive financial assistance. And there are local health services, backed by free medical transport to hospitals and specialists. But on the Papuan side of the border, community development has stalled. The people have no welfare system to help them when times are tough. And the children, as well as adults, are dying from preventable diseases long forgotten in Australia. Yet these families and clans are still interconnected. They still live inside of each other across the same narrow channel of water, but where a sandbar now marks a border. My project is about recording the stories of people who've experienced these changes firsthand. I hope to collect a total of 10 recordings and right now I'm working on the fifth one. It's a slow task. This is a remote and hard to access region where people from both sides can also be suspicious and fearful of sharing their experiences. There's been months of negotiations involved and I'd like to thank the State Library for their patience and unwavering support. Without the John Oxley Fellowship, this research just wouldn't be happening. I think that a lot of Australians don't realise that this aspect of Queensland's identity and our country's heritage actually exists. But I hope this oral history collection that's to be housed in the John Oxley Library will provide a valuable and personal insight into the complexities and challenges as well as the heartaches and hopes of the lives that are being lived on the border.